Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you the smallest computer in Minecraft by volume. It's 15 by 7 by 7 and it's a hexadecimal computer, meaning that it does all of its calculations based on redstone signal strength. And that also makes it equivalent to a 4-bit computer. So to interface with this computer, you use these two lecterns here to input data and commands. And then you get an output from this computer through these pieces of redstone dust. So, uh, this computer has six different commands, addition, subtraction, a conditional, and the rest are just for moving numbers around. And let me just show you how to add two numbers together with this computer. So the first thing that we're going to do is send a number to the register. And so let's make that number four. And then we press this button to execute that command. And you'll see that this piece of redstone here now has a power of four. And so let's move that number, let's copy it to ALUA. And so now you can see that that 4 has been copied to ALUA. And let's move that down once again, copy it to ALUB. And now 4 has uh, is in ALUB. So now let's take another number and put that into the register. Let's put six in there. You can see now register, the register now has a power of six. And let's copy that down to ALUA. And so now you can see the ALUA also has a power of six. Uh, so now let's add these two together. So let's start by putting no information through into the register. So let's put a zero there, and then um, let's add those two together with the add command. Execute it, and now 4 plus 6 is 10, so now there's a power of 10 in this register. Um, so if you want to build this for yourself in your survival world, these are all the materials that you're going to need. Uh, these are just any solid block, and these are just any compostable item, but 7 pumpkin pies will get you exactly what you need. Um, now for the commands, um, there is a command for conditional, which is really important for a computer to be able to make decisions on its own. So in this case, the instruction will take this last register here, the ALUB, and if it's a non-zero number, then it will write to the register whatever number is in the data input lectern. Uh, any future modifications that I would make to this would be to make it a lot smaller, uh, but probably a lot less easier to use. So I would take off most of this yellow part here, probably, and I would make it just, uh, I would substitute it with a bunch of buttons. Instead of having the convenience of just this one lectern here, it would be a lot smaller, but you would have to press individual buttons for each uh, command that you want to execute. Uh, so that's all for today, and thank you for watching.